My name is Mary Warnock and my work is in philosophy. The changes that there have been are really two. I mean, one is that people are much more open and talk much more than they did about infertility and fertility. They know much more than they did. But the second thing, of course, is that since 1978, there has been techniques, starting with in vitro fertilization, where people recognize that they can be helped to have a baby if they don't conceive naturally. I don't think there can be any question of rights in this area because you can't have a right to something which it's impossible that you can get. And for some people, it's never going to be possible to have their own biological baby. I mean, they may be born without a womb. Well, the one thing that the law needs is certainty. 14 wasn't a number of days as plucked out of the air. It did actually correspond more or less to the normal development of the embryo, where a great number of changes start and develop very quickly after day about 15. Before that moment of this primitive streak, the embryo couldn't have any experiences at all because they don't even have the vestige of a central nervous system. So 14 days could be justified. It's not a particularly accurate number, but it's a precise number, and that is the precision that the law needs. My greatest fear for the future is not really a fear, it's just a rather gloomy prediction that actually the human race will die out eventually. And that just makes me sad. It doesn't fill me with alarm and panic. I think we shall, in a hundred years' time, of necessity, change our attitude to death. We've already changed our attitude to birth, and I think death will come next. And I believe that in a hundred years, attitudes will have changed. Mm -hmm.